what's going to happen to gay people? Well, they could still get married, right? They would just have to marry somebody of the other biological sex. <laughs> so, <laughs> I... What? Yeah, we, we have to set boundaries. How on... merciful. We're going to watch this Vice documentary. So this is called God's Law. And um, it's about the fight to ban drag in Ohio. And uh, Dax McCoy, one of my viewers, sent this to me. And I wanted to check it out because this is very interesting. We hear from some Christian nationalists in this documentary. And what they say is predictably stupid and unintentionally hilarious. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful for the privilege to come and learn about what you are doing in the State House. We pray these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. We're outside a church in Boise to attend a town hall organized by the Idaho Family Policy Center, a right-wing Christian lobby organization who wrote this bill outlawing a sexualized exhibition in public spaces, also known as the anti-drag bill. Please welcome Blaine Kanzai. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you tonight. Um, man, this is a good crowd. Thank you for coming out. Blaine Kinzadi is a key figure in conservative Idaho politics. He's helped pass laws restricting access to abortion and limit trans students' participation in girls' sports. Now he's rallying support for his latest effort. The House Bill 265, the drag legislation, passed off the House floor this morning. Yeah. You want to have kids at your drag show? Don't do it. You want to have adults at your drag show? You want to do that at your private venue? That's fine. Under this legislation, check IDs at the door. That's pretty basic to me. Kanzadi's bill. I love how they're just like all of a sudden pro nanny state after decades of them claiming that they're in favor of small government. I mean, for Republicans, to the extent that they supported a smaller government, it was a government small enough to fit in your own bedrooms or in your own family's home so that way they can police every single thing that you and your family does. I mean, I just have to say, get a life. Why are you focused on what other people do? If your constituents or, you know, people in your state want to take their children to Drag Queen Story Hour and you disagree with that, tough titties. Mind your own fucking business. Like, I don't like the idea of parents taking their children to gun shows, for example. And I think it's maybe inappropriate to take your son to a Hooters. But guess what? I'm not a parent. I don't get a fucking saying this okay and neither do you when it comes to the parents with um kids who want to go to a drag show or who might be lgbtq or trans in particular like just mind your own fucking business and that's the only way that we can exist as a pluralistic society you mind your business i'll mind my business we'll live the lives that we think is appropriate and then we all live happily ever after but these dipshits they can't help themselves. They have to impose their Christian nationalist ideology on everyone. Limit children's access to drag performances. But there's a larger plan behind it, to make biblical law the law of the land. There's one objection that we always hear. You can't legislate morality. You can't impose your morality on others or expect your morality to reign in the public square. Is that true? As Christians, we know that God's law is the perfect reflection of morality. And okay, but I don't know if you've heard about this thing called the separation of church and state. It's pretty important because it's in the First Amendment, but you don't get to do that. I mean, to the extent that lawmakers are able to legislate morality, I mean, they do, right? They take action to protect people. That's what seatbelt laws are, right? Um, but what he's referring to is a very specific type of morality. It's God's laws, you know, and, and I find that interesting because what even is biblical morality? Because God himself, like he put thou shall not murder in like the Ten Commandments. So I'm assuming it's pretty important if he put it there, but he couldn't even follow his own commandments. Did you not hear about the story of Noah? where he was so triggered by people doing degenerate things that he flooded the world and killed everyone, including babies. I mean, if a God 
can't even follow his own fucking commandments. Don't you think that that morality system is a little bit flawed or at least requires further questioning? I mean, if that God would kill babies, don't you think that that God is maybe immoral and shouldn't be followed? Well, of course not, because these people are dipshits. And to even pretend as if they've thought about their own Bible and, you know, system of morality this much is being way too charitable. They've never thought about these things. If his law is the perfect reflection of morality, then wouldn't we want to model our civil laws after his, after that perfect law, when men begin to shirk back from their responsibility and allow evil men to set policies and set rules and promote evil in the public square, we get here. Kanzadi is just one piece of a national movement of right-wing Christian groups like the Family Research Council and Alliance Defending Freedom that's had remarkable success pushing anti-LGBTQ laws. This year, 10 states have passed bills restricting gender-affirming care for trans youth, and 18 states have introduced bills to restrict drag shows. Kanzadi's work often involves strategizing with lawmakers like Ben Tapes, who sponsored the drag bill in the Senate. I think that there's going to be a hearing on the bill guaranteed. Okay. As far as a path to getting it passed, there's a few people that I'm going to have to get on board. I'm hearing that as a theme where people, a lot of people are concerned about civil rights of action. Alliance Defending Freedom and Heritage and Family Research Council, they only want bills with civil cause of action enforcement mm -hmm. mechanisms at this point because relying on prosecutors to enforce these types of, yeah. it just, it's not gonna happen. Kanzadi's bill would restrict any public drag show deemed, quote, patently offensive to an average person. It was inspired in part by a viral video show. What does that even mean though? Because what is and isn't offensive is highly subjective. What some people interpreted as inappropriate dancing in front of kids, but not everyone wait, wait, has wait. the same. That was the video that was inappropriate? It was inspired in part by a viral video showing what some people interpreted as inappropriate dancing. Oh no! <laughs> I can't let these kids, how are their heads not exploding? There's gotta be at least one example that exists. This is a large country. That's better than that, right? Come on. Interpreted as inappropriate dancing in front of kids. But not everyone has the same idea. All the kids are, all the kids that are being hypnotized and they're automatically being turned trans. That's that's why they're offended. <laughs> that's what they think is happening. Yeah, she showed ankle. There you go. That's that's part of the problem there. Show ankle, then mm mm mm. These kids are gonna get uh sexualized. And uh, I don't even fucking know. Like these people are absolute psychopaths, not sociopaths. Like they are psychopaths. They are genuinely psychotic. Like I usually try not to diagnose people over the internet because I'm not qualified to do that. But I think that all of us are qualified to deduce that these people are absolute fucking lunatics. Offensive. I firmly believe that drag shows are sexual in nature. When you expose children to that type of material, it will harm children. Where is your evidence that seeing a drag show causes harm to a child? So there is a wealth of scientific and academic literature that demonstrate. Is there? Is there though, bro? Is there though? Come on, because if these studies existed, then uh, why didn't you mention them in 2018? There were zero drag bills proposed or bans on drag shows proposed then. Why is this all of a sudden in the year 2023 and at the end of 2022 an issue that requires all of our urgency? Come on, you're full of shit. The harm caused to children by sexual conduct. Um, there's a reason why. But you're equating drag shows with sexual conduct. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. So there's oh, no, okay. there's no spectrum there. So certainly there are some types of sexual conduct that are more obscene than others. But adult entertainment can be anal gangbang, and it can be a drag show on the street. Sure, yeah. When you are exposing kids to drag performances, you are exposing them to a vision of sexuality and gender that's transgressive. That's the purpose of drag. Welcome. Listen, everybody should feel comfortable here because you are in a loving queer space. 
and we love you all. Thank you all so much for being here. Oh my God, but well, what if the kids hear that message? We love you all, you're in a loving space. But he's wearing makeup though. <gasps> oh my God, I don't like it, ban it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Idaho is a conservative state, but it has a vibrant drag community. Still, like much of the country, they've experienced a surge in violence and threats. Last summer, Dozens of members of the far-right group Patriot Front were arrested and accused of plotting an attack on a Pride event in Coeur d'Alene. Later, the Boise Pride Festival was forced to cancel its youth drag show over safety concerns. Aslan Walker is a non-binary 15-year-old who was planning to perform. Drag is like the embodiment of self-expression. Drag is so important to me because of the fact that I have found an actual community and like group of people that I feel safe within. So you found yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, how is this any different than ballet or like letting your kids do dance class or something like that? I mean, I just, the hysteria over this is so ludicrous that like i don't think that normal people see this and think oh, okay yeah that's sexualizing kids i think that most people see this and they think okay you're fucking dumb if you're worried about this i'm worried about other things actual issues that affect kids perhaps gun violence because that's the number one cause of death for kids in the united states not drag shows not you know any lgbtq plus pride events but gun violence yeah i just see happiness exactly they want to stop this non-binary teenager from performing when it makes them happy because they're just assholes. Like, they're miserable pricks, and they want to bring all of us down to their level of perpetual misery. I had a performance <clears throat> that I had been working on for four months. Aslan taught themselves to uh, lip sync in, in Korean and Mandarin. What happened to that? There were many incredibly, like, threatening, violent protesters that were threatening to come to the show with guns. Basically. But I mean, like, if they saw this kid performing in Mandarin and dancing, then, you know, that might turn the other kids trans or something. And, you know, this... This mom here has different colored hair, so it must be that she pushed this on, on her child here. I mean, how can you look at this? How can you hear from these people and think there's something evil going on or something degenerate going on here? Called us groomers, said we were all pedophiles. It was a call to arms. It was really awful. It was a very scary time for us. When they Just remember that every accusation is a confession when it comes to Republicans. So the people who are calling you groomers and pedophiles probably have some skeletons in the closet themselves. This bill, they presented it as this sort of common sense thing. Like, you know, we're, we're not going after the drag community at large. We just don't want our kids to be exposed to perversions. Right. Is that... Um, misrepresentation then? All of the children that I see at the drag shows love it. They love the costumes and the glitter and the pretty makeup. I feel like the people who are creating these bills don't really realize that who they think they're protecting, they're just hurting. What will it That's mean That's a for great you? point. You know, Republicans, they see that child there and they think, oh, it's terrible that you were groomed into this lifestyle and you think you're non-binary when really you're not but that's not appropriate for kids. Also, I think that kids should return to work and let's uh, get rid of child labor laws and send them back to the factories and the coal mines. I mean, these people don't give a fuck about kids. I can't stress that enough. They don't care at all about kids. And it, this is just about enacting their theocratic agenda and they are doing everything in their power to subject all of us to the laws that they believe are divine and come from their gods. That's what this is about. They're autocrats, pure and simple your community if Idaho keeps going in the direction in which it's going. We're probably going to have to move out of the state. We're, yeah, at this point, it kind of feels like we're fleeing. I've lived here my entire life. This is the state where I've been raised. So having to leave will be horrible. But also, I can't stay here. Like, this is not a healthy place for me to be in any way. They're trying to build this world where only people like them are allowed to exist. True.
what would your ideal America look like? So we would want to see government following biblical law when it comes Move to Saudi Arabia then, you dipshit. That is unconstitutional. Not all of us agree with your version of morality. In fact, in fact, I think that your version of morality is actually morally bankrupt and deeply immoral, but that's not acceptable. No, like he wouldn't like it if I said, I want to impose atheism on everyone, but it's okay for him to impose his dumb fuck fairy tale beliefs on all of us. Fuck you, baldy. To moral issues. I mean, it would look more- No diss to other bald people because the interviewer is bald and brave. I don't know why I said that. Bald people are good. I'm sorry, bald people, forgive me. Fuck this bald person though the United States in the 17 and 1800s. When you follow God's laws, you experience the same type of uh, prosperity, uh, freedom, uh, no matter what time you're you're implementing those laws in. Well, I mean, I, I, like I wouldn't say that America was necessarily a free country back in the 18th century. <laughs> this dude, he's just sitting there. He's like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> Yeah, that's such a good point. He's wearing mixed linens. Oh, time to be put to death. You're going to get stoned, motherfucker. Should I do it or are you going to do well, it I yourself? Mean, I, I, like, you can't wear clothing of mixed linens. Mm. Also, did you eat shellfish? Because that's against the Bible. Leviticus, bitch, look it up. These people are just, I can't handle them. They're too stupid, okay? And say that America was necessarily a free country back in the 18th century. I, I would I would beg to differ. America at that time was the most free country in, in the world and has remained that way since. What's going to happen to gay people? Uh, OK, before we get to what's going to happen to gay people, because I think he knows that he wants to put us all to death. But he is basically tacitly saying we were more free when white people could uh, own slaves. Yeah, and when women weren't able to vote legally. Okay, that's a hell of a take. Hell of a take. Um, somebody who is same-sex attracted would have just as much of a place in society. Um, okay, he's gay. <laughs> I've got to I've got to say it he is homosexual okay because I was on these forums when I was a teenager and a Christian and this is a term that they use nobody's gay but they're same sex attracted and I'm fighting my same sex attraction he just tacitly admitted that he is in the closet okay uh maybe he's deeply in the closet maybe he has blown dudes you know in bathrooms and asked for forgiveness but he just outed himself right there. So, yeah, yeah. He thinks that if he goes ham against minorities and gay people and people of color, that God will forgive him for getting boners looking at men's butts or something like that. Um, sorry, brother, you're a degenerate, but let's continue probably not recognize um you know the a marriage there so not really not really just as much of a place oh absolutely just as much of a place but there would be certain things that they would be barred from no they wouldn't be barred from anything that anyone else would be allowed to do except marriage well they could still get married right they would just have to marry somebody of the other biological sex <laughs> so <laughs> i what? Yeah, we we have to set boundaries. How on... merciful. Uh, and I'm sorry, but doesn't your Bible say that gay people should be put to death? So just the mere fact that you think that they should be able to exist, that's a bit of a tell, is it not? Because this dude is same-sex attracted, and he doesn't want to be put to death simply because he's attracted to dudes. So, wow. Well, it's funny how much you can learn from someone um, just by listening to the terminology that they use and the way that they describe things. He doesn't want to put gay people to death, just not allow them to get married. So same, same sex attracted people, probably like him, you know, they just are forced to live as straight people or be celibate forever. What a very merciful person. Wow, what, what a loving free society. Marriage, right? We, we already do with polygamy. Do you ever wonder if you're like 
on the wrong side of Footloose with Kevin Bacon. <laughs> we don't want the dancing to take place. Yeah, exactly. Well, is that what you're saying? No, of course not. But we will keep... No, it is what you're saying, because you were triggered by a video of a trans... Or not a trans person. Um, What was it, that first video they showed? It was the drag queen, yeah. They were all clutching their pearls because the drag queen was dancing. Not dancing in a sexual manner at all. But, yeah, you, you are... At the opposite side of the fucking Footloose people, or whatever the analogy he used was, okay? Until biblical truth and Christian morality is the prevailing philosophy in the public square. Okay, that's all that we're gonna watch of this. How about you go fuck yourself? Fuck your Bible. I wipe my ass with the pages of your Bible. Suck my dick. Get a hobby. Get laid. Get wrecked, loser. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists, woke moralists, woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.